Hello everyone, in this video, we will talk about fundamental counting principle. So based on the definition, it is a method or a rule used to calculate the total number of possible outcomes or choices when two or more events are occurring together. So not one, but two or more events happening together. So it, it states that event one occurs in P ways, so P number of choice, sorry, number of choice. Event 2 occurs in Q ways, event 3 occurs in three way, uh, R ways, then there are P times Q times R possible ways. So again, P, Q, and R are the number of choices or ways. So let us have example number 1. So for example number 1, we have... A boy has four t-shirts and two pairs of pants and three pairs of shoes. Find the total number of possible outfits that boy has. So for the boy to have a complete outfit, he needs t-shirts, pants, and then shoes. So for t-shirts, we have how many choices? We have four. Four pants. How many choices? We have two. And for shoes, we have three pairs. So based on fundamental counting principle, we have to multiply the choices in each event. So we have four times two times three. So that is equal to four times two is eight times three. We have 24 ways. Okay? For you to have a complete visualization, uh, visualization of the given, let us have a tree diagram. Okay, we have four t-shirts. Let us use tree diagram. So T, let us have T sub 1, T sub 2, T sub 3, T sub 4 as denoted for t-shirts. And then we can pair it to Pants. How many choices? We have two. So we have P sub 1 and P sub 2 for pair of pants. So we have P sub 1 and P sub 2 since we have two pairs. And then for T sub 2, we can pair again P sub 1 and P sub 2. The first pants and the second pants. And then for T-shirt number 3, we can pair also the first pants and the second pants. And for t-shirt number four, we can pair again the first pants and the second pants. Of course, this outfit is not complete without the shoes. So we can pair T sub one or first t-shirt, first pants to the three sets of shoes or three, three pairs. So we have S sub 1, S sub 2, and S sub 3 for shoes. Okay, union letter for shoes. Let us have S and S sub 1, S sub 2, and S sub 3. For second pairs, so we have T sub 1, P sub 2, we can pair three pairs of shoes, so S sub 1, S sub 2, and S sub 3. And then of course, we have S sub 1, S sub 2, and S sub 3 for the second t-shirts. First pants, we can pair also the three pairs of shoes. For second t-shirt, second pants, we can pair also the three sets of shoes and then for third t-shirts and then first pants we can pair s sub 1 s sub 2 s sub 3 same with the fourth t-shirt okay so we have s sub 1 s sub 2 s sub 3 s sub 1 s sub 2 s sub 3 
S sub 1, S sub 2, S sub 3. So now, by counting all the pairs to make it possible outfit of a boy, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there are 24 possible outfits that the boy can wear. Okay? So instead of using three diagram or actual counting, we can use the fundamental counting princip uh, principle by multiplying the given choices. So for t-shirt, we have four. For pants, we have two choices. And then for shoes, we have three choices. Then multiply, we have 24 ways or possible outfits that the boy has. So same with actual counting, but it's too long or you will spend a lot of time for counting. That's why fundamental counting principle is this, the easiest way to find the number of possible outcomes. So now let us have example number two. For example number two, we have... In how many ways can you select a president, vice president, and secretary from a class of 20 students? So again, we are finding the number of possible outcomes for president, vice president, and secretary. So now, let us have P for president, V or VP for Vice President and S for Secretary. For President, of course, 20 students are the number of choices. They are qualified to become President. So we have 20. The number of choices for President is 20. And then for Vice President, once a President is elected from 20 students, of course, the choices for Vice President is 19. So 19 students na lang yung natitira from 20 because one of the students was elected as president. That's why the remaining choices for the vice president is 19. And the next for secretary, since a president and the vice president was elected Therefore, we only have 18 possible choices for the secretary. And then again, using fundamental counting principle, we have to multiply 20 times 19 times 18. Okay? So now, 19 times 18, that is equal to 19 times 18, that is equal to 342 times 20 so 20 times 342 that is equal to 6840 so we have 6840 ways okay that you can select president vice president and secretary from a class of 20 students okay now let us have item number 3 how many two digit add numbers greater than 20 are there. So again, we are looking for two digit, two digits. So we have tens, T for tens, and then U for unit digit. Okay, tens and U. Now, add numbers. But first, let us have the tens. Tens digit, how many choices? So again, the restriction, we have greater than 20. The choices for tens digit, we have the digits from 0, 0 to 9. Okay? From 0 to 9, since greater than 20, 0 and 1 are excluded. Therefore, we only have 8 choices for 10s. Again, 0 and 1 are excluded from the choices from 0 to 9, yung digit natin. Therefore, we have only 8 choices. The next, for units digit, since we have 
add numbers, the last number must be 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So how many choices we have? We have 5. Okay, for units digit. Therefore, using fundamental counting principle, we have to multiply 8 times 5. So that is equal to 40 uh, two digit add numbers. Okay, so we have 40. So what are those numbers? Halimbawa, we have, or example, we have 21, 23, 25, greater than 20. So we start from 21, next is 23, 25, up to 99. Okay, since 99 is the, the, the last number or last two digit add number. Okay? If we are going to count, there are 40 two digit add numbers greater than 20. Okay, for more practice, you may try it yourself. So for item number one, how many four digit even numbers can be formed from zero to nine if repetition is not allowed? For item number two, a caterer offers three kinds of soup, seven kinds of main dish, four kinds of vegetable dish, and four kinds of dessert. In how many possible ways can a caterer form a complete meal from the choices? So, you may use soup, main dish, vegetable, and dessert to make it complete meal. So again, Try it yourself. You may comment your answer on the comment section below. So I hope you learned from this video. And if you learn, please subscribe to our channel.